Welcome to clickmyprojection.com Now we discuss about image quality assessment for web biometric detection applications to iris fingerprint and face recognition the developing security world we use password and hardware also biometric detail for the authentication process the biometrics is recognition of iris fingerprint and 2d or 3d faces A biometric details are changed from one person to another person, so it was the individual secure individual security or password method for each every person, also the twins, and also it is not memorable. But this biometric system security accuracy is very low because we map the five biometric details for to hack the details, so we need to enhance that security system. it is the most needed security for future world in our project we enhance the security system by using software based method in that process we use image quality assessment method and quantitative statistical analysis method to detect the fake of biometric details this is the flow diagram for our report system in this flow diagram first we give the query image the query image is nothing but the input image that image is like iris fingerprint or 2d face now we go to the processing process the processing process the given image size will be changed because all the input images in various size so we convert the image size in our user define for use the further process now the resist image will go to the rgb separation process something the given image is in rgb so we convert that rgb image into gray sometimes the resized image in gray level so it is not changing in gray so that the image is rgb it convert to gray is else it is not convert to gray now the rgb process is over it is go to the gaussian filter process in this gaussian filter process we design a gaussian filter that gaussian filter design is the sigma value is 0.5 Point three or point four, and also the matrix value is three cross three or five cross five or four cross four. This is very different. Now the Gaussian filter is filter the resist image, and it remove the noises in the images. Now the Gaussian filter or the filtered image will go to the image quality assessment process. The image quality assessment process is compare the two images. like the filtered image and also the non filtered image and we compare that two images and give the image quality value and that we we extract the lemon image quality value now we go to the test feature extraction process in this process we find the lemon image quality value in image image quality assessment process now we store that all lemon quality in the feature it is called the test feature now the test feature will go to the qda quantitative statistical analysis classifier and we see the training feature now the training feature will be starting from data set and first we load the whole data set and the each images will be in loop first we find the length of data set and the data set length will be equal to the length of the train feature the process will stop this process is same as the query image first the data set one image is selected and it will convert to gray and then the gray the image go to the gaussian filter process now the gaussian filter process over it go to the image quality process image quality extraction process the image quality is extracted the lemon quality will be extracted and store the train feature and then we check the length of the train feature now it is not equal to the data set length it will be go to the load the another data set image now it is equal to the data set length it store the store the train feature and the group 
now the group will be stored the group is there are two groups in our proper system one is sac and another is original or the fact is not authentication person and the original is authentication person now the store train feature and group store train feature and group will be go to the classifier and also the group will be go to the classifier and the test feature will be a classifier the classifier first train the train feature with compare to the group now the training will be over now the test feature will be compare to the train feature and it will be give the result it's the fact or original now i demonstrate how to run the project first open the matlab and then right click the desk guide atm and run the file then the desk guide will be open now we select to the process button in the desk guide then the input process guide will be open now that input process guide first i will load the image now i will select one query image from that folder now it is the size of the query image it is 300 plus 300 now the query image is not rgb so we convert to that image into gray image by select the gray image button now it is the gray image for query image now the image will be converted to gray then we go to the resize the gray image then we select the resize button there are two choice will be there i have select 250 cross 256 now the image gray image size will be changed now we go to the filter the gray image we select the filter process now there are three option will be there now i select gaussian 3 cross 3 filter then it is the filtered image now we go to the identification process the identification process we identify the given query images fake or original i will select the next button for identification process now the output display guy will be open the output display guy first we calculate the image quality of given image i will press the iqa button for calculate the image quality now this is the 11 image quality value of given image now i go to identify the query images fake or original i will press the identification button for the identification of given image now the given query image is fake image now we go to press the analysis button for analysis the classifier accuracy and also existing and proposed systems accuracies now it is the confusion matrix for for it is shows uh, accuracy of the classifier now it is the comparison graph of existing method and proposed method now it is the performance graph for classifier now we go to press the exit button for exit the process and now we press the home button we go to the process start now i will select the exit button for exit the process now the process will be exit thank you